Hey, bad hey. friends. Hey, I've only got a couple of dates left before I film my special. Go watch my friend Andrew. Please come watch me. He's uh, the best. Tomorrow, I'm in Brea, Brea, California, tomorrow night on the 13th. And then this weekend, 16th, I'm in uh, Minneapolis. The 17th, I'm in Madison, Wisconsin. Come see me. Then on the 24th, I'm in Denver, Colorado, filming my special. AndrewSantino.com is where you're going to get those tickets. Please come out and see your boy. AndrewSantino.com. Come see me. You two are bad friends. Who are these two idiots? White dude and an Asian dude. You two are disgusting. Well, you two are something. We're bad friends. Calm down. Huh? Let's do a breathing exercise, dude. Yeah. No, no, no. Let me say that. Let me start off by no, saying this. No breathing exercise? <laughs> no. Let All me right. start off by saying this. Welcome back, Fancy B, kind of. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, kind yeah, of. Yeah, because you know what? He comes in here. Welcome back, actually, Juicy. Welcome back. Welcome back, Juice. Great, great to see you. Welcome back, Carlos. Great to see you. Fancy B, you come back, and the first thing out of his mouth is, you need to have better taste in scripts. <laughs> I know. I know. Exactly. Saying that all I do and is- And we read your Turtle Island script, dude. Trash. That's a piece of shit, dude. Trash. Yeah, Don't yeah. get me started. Fanc Fancy's, of course, commenting about the movie Me Time I did on Netflix with Kevin Hart, and he hated it. Didn't you hate it? Go ahead and say it, Fancy. You're I, allowed to say what you want on this show. You're good in it. Let me tell you something. I'm watching it. The critics tonight. will tell you how good it is. Go ahead and show what we got on Rotten Tomatoes. Wow. Go ahead. Go ahead. It made me feel good about my own movie. Look at how good that is. What did the critics say? Seven percent. Yeah, that's a fucking. That bro, means, you couldn't even beat Easter Sunday. Wait a minute, is that bad or good? Seven <laughs> percent. It's bad. It's bad. Yeah, I thought yeah. that meant ninety three percent. No, 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 no. It's it's, it's, it's it's got a green like uh, sludge on it. That's I don't think that's good. No. Tomato's good. What first like of all, like a tomato is good. Well, so, that, see, I don't. Forty five percent Easter yeah. Sunday. Can I say something? Yeah. This does this scale makes no sense because a tomato is what you used to throw at at <laughs> actors when you hated stuff when you hated performance live performance they throw tomatoes at plays but meanwhile G sludge gook gack loved it I grew up with Nickelodeon I love getting gacked and gooked <laughs> no but the sludge is the thrown tomato then it would be fucking red why is it green tomatoes aren't fucking green. the insides are sometimes green or am I not right yeah. my Spanish friend totally right thank you even green tomatoes on the outside are still red on the inside oh and it. But the audience score. Oh, that's not. That's, this is Andres. Oh, movie. this is Andres' movie. Fifty-five <laughs> yeah. yeah, percent. So you beat Easter Sunday and Me Time. <laughs> yes. Yeah, but mine has Kevin Hart in it and Mark Wahlberg yes. and Regina Hall. And yours has who? <laughs> Who's in yours? Eric Dane. I Give, love Eric Dane. Gives a shit. Yeah. I do. I do too. I like Eric Dane. Yeah, he's great. No, he, can I just say something shots. about Eric Dane? Let me say something about I'm Eric Dane. I'm aware that Me Time didn't do well. Two years ago. It's not my movie. No, two years ago when I was sick, right? Can I tell you about- Maybe Kevin Hart's worst movie yet, <laughs> says Nick Schlager. Wait until what? Borderlands comes out. Oh, he's in that too. He's in my movie. It's, first of all, that's not going to come out. <laughs> it's, I don't think it is either, right? No, because I know more than you do. You know I know more no, than is you. No, is it not coming out? Mm -hmm. Welcome back, Juice. Good back. I, I liked me time. <laughs> Did you really? I thought it was great. I watched she it. She says that as she's wearing the A Enemies. Scissors Brothers t-shirt. Exactly. Yeah. I couldn't even have One of the her. worst podcasts online right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's a cool shirt. They gave it to me for free. Dude, we give you so much more than they give you. <laughs> I we just give put you another so shirt much next life. to you. We Change give you shirt. life. We've I'm lifted your saying... career. You're coming to SLC with me. <laughs> we give you merch. And then you wear their... Tra By the way, that Heather Gray standard issue that they got, <laughs> trash. Yeah, but cheapest I, thing you can buy. I thought you guys liked those guys. Well, he's my brother. Yeah, that's he's right. your brother. What? Yeah, Jeremiah's what was, your brother. No, the other one <laughs> is my brother. The Chinese guy. He's yeah. Korean. <laughs> yeah, he's my brother. Is he really Korean? Yeah, he's my only brother, and I love him. He's blood brother. To he's Bobby. blood brother to me. Wait a minute, the tiny little the little uh, gook. This one. The is tiny he, little guy. He's gookie. your little brother. <laughs> he's my little brother. Steve. Son of a gun. Yeah, yeah. So say something nice. Whoa. Can I say? I'm, I'm being genuine when yeah, I ask. This. Yeah, yeah. Look at me. Huh? He's not Chinese. <laughs> he's not. No. <laughs> he's not. He looks Chinese. He, I know, but he's absolutely not Chinese. You 100% look Korean. Oh, thank you. He absolutely looks Chinese. Yeah, but he's not. I don't bring up a picture of it, Stevie Weeby because I feel it, like he yeah. looks Chinese. Yeah, there he is. That kid is Chinese on the right. Definitely. Yeah, that's that, me. I, there's no doubt in my mind. <laughs> yeah. What, we need a test. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There I mean, he is. Look at that. If you saw him on the street, go, who's that little Chinese kid? Yeah. I love him so much. We love Stevie over here. Like so he looks like much. a Chinese guy that sells pineapples in the black market. <laughs> <laughs> right. One hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. Can yeah. I tell you that a few episodes? Can I tell ago, you about the totoy? Go ahead. I, I, uh, she Chinese too. I, I, yeah, yeah. yeah. Is that your Asian accent? No. But Why I'm are you Asian. doing this? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm turning Japanese. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> 
few episodes ago, I, I wore a Scissor Brothers shirt, a different color one. And we didn't notice. We didn't notice. I don't know if you noticed, but I, I didn't. No, well, we would have said something. You noticed something. today, yeah. Yeah, we would have said something. <laughs> It's um, fine. We're, we're lucky to have you. Wait, so can I have this shirt then? <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah, this that's what we gave it to you, awesome. dude. Yeah, that's actually yeah. a set Is shirt. this new? No, we get, we, no. It, I will say the material is much better than this shirt. Yeah, yeah thank we're, we're you. higher class. We're a little it bit has higher, like though. a weight to it. Yeah. 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 No, if, that, if, that if, is. No, <laughs> go, go change into that. Right now? Yeah, go change into that. All right. All right. Please. Don't you think? <laughs> mm. Yeah, yeah. Me time, congratulations on that. <laughs> Congratulations! I, 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 it's number one on Netflix. It's number one on Netflix, and also I would drive around oh. town. It, yeah. In every corner, there's a me time fucking thing, mm -hmm. yeah. and I say to myself, my one of my best friends is in that movie, mm -hmm. and it's really cool. Not one. I am your best friend. Think about. You're it. close. Think about it. I have a couple. Theo. No. Not as close. No. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He's not. But Col he's close. And Kalila's not anymore. She is yeah, still. Nope. We watched, we watched movies together last night. I w I'd watch a movie with you last night. That's true. Uh, speaking of which, I went over and did Trash Tuesday. They said you killed it. I had so much fun, dude. Honestly. They I said you killed it. So much fun. And and I do want to approach this with you. And I want to make sure that you're not uncomfortable about it. Uh-oh. Was there a little sexual tension in the room? There was. And you know who was between? Who? Kalila. And? Carlos. What the hell? <laughs> Carlos. I, guess I, that, I felt... No! Bro! Bro! Go I have it. felt that... For years, and I fun. have to say this too, right? Mm -hmm. I think that you're the reason why we're not together anymore. <laughs> I really do. And let me say something to you else or, 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 again, all right? Go for it. Because if you want to start a war with me, I will go to war with you. And let me say something right now, dude. I have more minions. I have more people behind me, and I will fucking bury you. You bald-headed fuck. Bobby, there's been no <laughs> sexual attraction between you, you and there, I see you in the videos, dude. Oh, I you know. Ham you ham up. You Saw ham it up, today. bro. I'm just at work. I'm trying to do a good job. I know, but I've seen you on stage. You don't ham it up. Whoa. Oh. Back, no, back That's in the mean. day. No, listen. That was he a could shot. do it. I'm not shotting. <laughs> I'm not shotting right now, dude. Right? Okay. Back in the day, dude, you could have hammed it up because I see you ham it up with Kalila. It's right? not just Kalila. It's everyone. It's fans. Is it because, no, is it because you, you know you have a bigger dick than me? Um, I mean, I do know that. but that's How do you not know that for a fact? Because I've seen your dick. That's you know, true. Yeah. Yeah, wow. that's true. Fact. Facts. No, what I was, I, I didn't mean for this Facts. to get out of hand. Yeah, I'm yeah. sorry, Carlos. But I apologize also, too. He had sex with her <coughs> on the show. Yes. Did you fuck her? No, I, I didn't have sex. Did you with lay her. on top of her with your clothes on? Yes. <laughs> so you laid on top of my ex girlfriend with clothes on. Yeah. And they fucked on camera. Polly laid on top of Juicy three weeks Not ago. Not like that. Not like that. I saw, Not like I saw, that. I saw oh, you saw it? Too, yeah. Can, you know what I get to do? You know what I get to do? You know what I get to do? Ooh. My ex wife's already. I get to lay on your mom. Coral? Yeah. You got to bring her on the show. Bring her on the show. Let, have her lay down, and I'm going to grind on her for a minute. <laughs> My dad will be so mad. That's fine, and I will not. Wait a minute. Your dad what? <laughs> he'll be mad at me for letting it happen. He's got to be Oh, here. he's going to be there. He's got to be here. And yeah. he's going to be jerking off in the corner. That's yeah. so, like, cuckish. It's only fair. It's only fair. It's Thank only you. fair. It's only fair. Thank you, <laughs> Juice. Juice. Thank you. Yeah, you're the you. best, right. Juice. Your dad's got to come and pull a Louie to watch Bobby. Yeah. And he's got a fat Is your mom cap. still alive? Oh, yeah. yes. She's Fantastic. Jeez, I don't want it to hurt that. That'd be weird. No, that'd yeah. be so yeah, strange. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, no, it was it was all in good fun. In fact, to be honest, Carlos, he didn't want to do it. Kalila was saying that let, horny, let, horny Filipino girl. She said, "Let me show you guys how this sexual position is enacted." Because Esther has no idea. I don't know if Esther ever lived. I don't think Esther. I feel like she just appeared because she has. She almost has no. She almost knows almost nothing. Mm -hmm. She doesn't know anything about anything. I don't anything. even know how she exists, really. Uh, her husband. David. Yeah, he keeps her alive. Yeah, yeah, he's the best. And I told her how bad I can't wait till she gets fat. I cannot wait to see Esther fat. She's going to lose it all at some point. Yeah. And just become a little fucking blimp. <laughs> Remember Violet from Willy Wonka? Oh, yeah. The and blueberry. she's Blueberry, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Violet, Violet. And I want her to roll around the comedy store like that. Yeah. <laughs> just want to roll her around. Like, if you asked Esther, like, w just tell me anything about the Vietnam War, she oh, would have no idea. No chance. Yeah. <laughs> There's literally no chance. Let me ask you, tell me a little bit about the <laughs> Vietnam War. What do you know about it? Well, I know um, uh, our troops were not welcomed back. That's perfect. And that's, that's, that's one more know. thing more than <laughs> Esther knows. Okay? She doesn't know, even know that. I know about Agent Orange. Th she th that's two things. Now, right what there. was Agent Orange? I believe Agent Orange was uh, where we... Dusted crops uh, 
It's with a chemical. A chemical, and it was pretty fucked up. Look yeah. at this. Look at that look photo. At look. Go to the right. Look at that look boy at that. on the right. Look what it did to him. <laughs> no. Oh. Really? That's that, that, that's not, what that's it did not real. He was born that way, dude. Dude, look. That's look. It says Agent Orange. It's a it's a it's a herbicide. Make sure by the U.S. military. Wait, can you Vietnam zoom on the little boy's head? I'm I just sorry, went, I laughed. Why are you laughing? Because I, you're was, making me laugh. It doesn't look real. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Let me see. Oh wow. <laughs> this poor real. kid is. This is from Agent Agent Orange. So Tony Hinchcliffe has Agent Orange. <laughs> <laughs> is that what it is? That I just real Tony Hinchcliffe has it. He came from that. He came from that. Because Ohio, they wow. did spread it around Ohio. Yeah, look at it. Look at his face. Agent Orange, dude. Same kid. Yeah, he, he snorted it. He, oh. he grew into it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He grew into look it. At, yeah. Look at that. Look at that face. Don't. And he gets women. Sure. Agent Orange is also your FBI name, I feel like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why, Agent Orange. Am I Agent Yellow? If you want to be. No, who am I? Agent what? You're... Agent Gong. <laughs> <laughs> Agent Gong. Because Gong is Agent... quick. Yeah. Agent Gong, we need you now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> gong in 60 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> gong, Juicy. Yeah, gong good. in 60 seconds. That's a really good movie name. Write that down. <laughs> gong Girl. Yeah. Gong, gong Girl. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. Gong with the wind. <laughs> yes! Yeah. yes. We have three remakes we're doing, right? Come on. Why yeah. won't a studio pick this up? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Any more going once? <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's it. That's it. Gong. It's gong. It's off the shelves. Yeah. Um, going, going, gong. That, honestly, an autobiography called Going, Going, Gong about the departure of Bobby Lee, like when you finally retire. Yeah. Going, going, gong would be so fucking funny. You're not going to retire. Though, oh, right? yes, he is. Soon. Soon. What are you talking we about? already we had a, we talked about it. I think I have 15 more years. <laughs> At no, least. No so, way. That's way longer or less. Way longer. less. What? What? You got so you think at 60 I'm going to go I'm out? When this pod's over, you're done for, baby. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. You're going to last as long as you want to last. Well, then you would say that. I think you'll work for you're 51. 50. You're 51 soon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You'll be you'll I be in the so. business for 30 more years. Yeah. Well, you know, George Burns start, did the road in the, when he, until he was 92. Yeah, but he was different, dude. What do you mean? He what was, he was different? He's white, yeah. Yeah, but he's just super talented. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, like an iconic genius. But he did the road at 92. That's so incredible. And apparently he didn't change his act for 20 years. Same with me. <laughs> and it, same with me. And then also, but he would like do little whittles. Whit riddles? Whittle. He would whittle little things into it. Sorry. Like, tonight I'm gonna. I, I don't know how that would sound like George. What are you trying to say? <laughs> he would he would interject little things. Yeah. What's whittling? Whittling is um. With wood. Yeah. Wood. He, yeah. He would wood it. He would whittle wood in. He bits? would whittle wood wood in the bits. <laughs> ah. Does how, make... <laughs> how 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 old was he when he died? George Nine, Burns. A hundred. No way. I think so. I'm just guessing. He died at I think ninety six. I say a hundred. Whoa. Hundred years old. How'd you know that? He's I'm a, a big, big George, George Burns I'm fan. I'm a big George Burns fan. <laughs> well, how about how about um, Burgess Meredith? Do you guys remember who that is? Do you know who that is, Juice? No, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not familiar with George Burns. Oh, that's either. sad. You don't know who he is? I'm gonna know tonight. I'll look him up. But... How old was Burgie when he died? 1907. He was born. When did he die? It says it right there. 89. Young. Pretty young. This guy was the fucking man. You know who this is, don't you? Guys know who that is? Grumpy old men. How about Red Skeleton? Red Skelton. Skeleton or Skelton? Skel I think it's Skelton. I think it's Skeleton. Red Skelton. Yeah, it's H E. It's Skelton. It's not Skeleton. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Red Skelton. I always awesome. say I call them Red Skeleton. Eighty-four years old. He was another famous comedian. Famous. You know who that is, right? Oh, it's like Comedy One Hundred and One. Oh, yeah, love yeah. These guys. It was actually Two Hundred Two. It's Comedy Two Hundred Two. <laughs> you missed freshman year. Do you know Flip Wilson? No, she doesn't. Know I that know that is. name for sure, but I don't know Flip Wilson. That's probably a name you've heard around the comedy store before. Yeah, 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 yeah. for sure. These are all people that did it before us. See, this is what I want, though. Died. Look at that. Malibu. I want to I want to die somewhere dope. This is the fear I have. How old was he? 80, 64. Young guy. Oh, 64. my God. Young. Yeah. Oh, look at that. His first wife, Lavinia Patricia Peaches Wilson Dean. Peaches. I want a wife named Peaches. And then Cookie McKenzie. He had two wives with nicknames. <laughs> oh, wow. Why can't whites have nicknames? I know. I have two. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> you do. At least. Why can't three? we have a sweet, cool nickname like that? Yeah. Because I don't know. I don't know an Asian woman with a nickname. That's not true. Who? Uh, like, Ali Wong is Ali Wong. Isn't Kalila's mom have a nickname? Or the aunt? What do they call her? Rudy's mom is... What's her name? Honey. 
Yeah, that's a nickname. That's her name. <laughs> her real name is Honey? Yeah. <laughs> These people are so fucking weird. Yeah. Filipinos have the worst names. Do they? Yeah, they, there's a, I met a guy named Battery. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. Was he a double A or a triple A? I think no. His name was Lithium Battery. <laughs> no, I sort that, that they no. named their kids crazy shit. Was his kid Duracell? <laughs> that wouldn't be <laughs> shocking to me. They do stuff like U two. They name a boy U2? like U two, like the band. I like the music, though, so yeah, but I get it. Yeah, yeah. If you remind your your family who you, you really can love, name your kid anything, anything, but we choose not to. Well, because you don't want to ruin. Because you know how hard it is for them to have a shitty name. Yeah, statue. You never met a guy named Statue. See if there's a guy named Statue on this earth. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's kind of a cool name. Yeah. You could call him Stat. Staty. Stat dog. Cup. Chew. Is there a man named Frederick Augustine? No. no one yeah, there's no one named Statue. Well, then let's name your child Statue when it comes out. Yeah, I will. Like anything. Uh... There's so many things. So there's many so things many things right? I just don't even know. You know what I mean? Gong. Water. Well. What? That's tough. Well, there's. I met the Drinkwater family. Drinkwater? The, nat- the nat- natives. I'm on reservation. The That's their so last there's, name. A, there's a clan of, of natives. Their last name is Clan's Drink- probably not the word. For tribe. <laughs> there it is. Mm-hmm. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Called Drinkwater. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, they could be clans. No. I think that's pretty reserved for one S- group of people. Scottish people? Sc- Vikings? Clans? Scattish? Yeah. What's Scottish people? Yes. Are you. <laughs> Is that well, no, but Scottish, 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 Scottish people. <laughs> Scat it, yeah, but they're all they all have Scottish accents. Scat it, boy. What is a clan? Read me the fucking definition of a clan. A clan is a group of people united by an actual. Wait, no, that's too. A group of close knit and interrelated families, especially associated with families of the Scottish Highlands. So I said Scottish, right? Whoa! Did I say not you say Scottish? Scottish? Yeah, but the, the, you know what I meant. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But still, though, I yeah. just you don't so wanna... clans are white. Clans are whites. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, supremacists usually. Tribes are usually. Tribe would usually be native. Indigenous people. Indigenous people. Yeah. Even, even, even more better. woke. Yeah. There you go. What's and a group? What's a group of Asians? Um, what? It, yeah. Dim sums. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Ponzus. <laughs> no, no, no. Look at all the Ponzus over there. The po- that sounds right. The Ponzu. A noodle a of Asians. Noodle. Yeah. No, because a noodle is one thing. Noodles is noodle is yeah. singular. Like a ramen of Asians. A ramen of Asians. A ramen. Yeah. yeah, I could see the Ponzu group. Uh, There's got to be a Ponzu gang. There's no doubt. The Ponzu. Gl- yeah, noodle gang doesn't sound scary. Nope, it sounds awesome. Yeah, yeah. I want to hang out with them. Wasabi. Guys. Ooh, we'll bite you. Wasabi clan. Wasabi got a little the, sting. What do you what, you like that? Is it scary? Wasabi. Yo, we're yo, we were the wasabis. No, see, go to yo, Ponzu. We're the Ponzu. Sounds so, so cool. Much more scary. The Ponzu gang sounds fucking yeah. scary. Yeah. yeah, they'll fuck you up. Yeah, the Ponzu gang. How is about tough. Uh, the sneaky chopstick? <laughs> That's one of the guy's names. <laughs> oh, sneaky chopstick. Yeah, he's in the group. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Is there a Ponzu gang, dude? Yeah. I can't really find anything. There's an list internet. of Asian gangs. Maybe Google that. List of Asian gangs. <laughs> He's given you attitude ever since you boned his ex-girlfriend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa. Whoa, dude. <laughs> Chung Ching Yi. That's pretty on the point. <laughs> Fullerton boys? Out in fucking Fullerton, California? That's cool, dude. The Kang Pi, Korean. Gang Pei. Snakehead. Gang Pei. Snakehead. Gang Pei. Tong. Tong. Chinese. Bing Kong Tong. <laughs> Whoa, that's racist. It. I'm reading oh, it. Oh, that's all right. My bad. <laughs> Hop Sing Tong. <laughs> The Waki is tight. The Waki, Chinese and Malaysian. The Waki. And of course, we know the Yakuza. Bamboo Union. <laughs> oh, Look that's at, real. That's, that's that real. Fake. No, Bamboo Union. It sounds like a breakdancing crew. Yeah, the Fullerton boys. Why is the Yakuza so str- Like We all know their name. You yeah. know the Yakuza. Yeah, yeah. You know, They're yeah. so big. They're so big. I think it's because I, I of the be style. Yakuza? Yeah, because they're really cool. At Suits, tattoos to the wrists, missing finger. They all have one missing finger? Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Like this one. Why the ring finger? I think it's either it's to dedicate yourself to the like I, you're married to the game. I think so. Yeah. Oh, that's kind of tight. These are the Fullerton boys. Oh, let me see the Fullerton boys. <laughs> Don't look Asian. Yeah, they look Mexican. <laughs> you guys sound so disappointed. Yeah, I'm so disappointed. <laughs> well, we just well, those are Asian, Asian boys. boys. That's just a poster in Bobby's room. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that's one class at UCLA. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, show me the Yakuza. Let me see images of the Yakuza, because you know they're... Yeah. Yeah, see, that that Whoa. guy's 90. I thought he was wearing a shirt. Dude, look at that guy. Wait, I feel like I know this guy. 
<laughs> I'm, I'm serious. You saw him at open mic night or something? No, he's... Uh... Oh, but... Okay, zoom in on that photo, dude. Can you zoom in? Yeah. The guy to the far left, he doesn't belong. <laughs> Why? Look he... at the guy to the far left. Yep. I see it. What's wrong with him? He's not Asian. Oh. You, he could be half Asian. No, zoom in. I thought you meant his tattoo is different. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Look is. at his face, dude. Look at his face, bro. That's why they're all looking at him like, who the fuck Who the you? fuck is that guy? But does he look Asian to you? Yes. He no, he's like not. There's Russian. no way. No. He's like Italian. Maybe he's just yeah. badass. Dude, we better be careful. These guys are going to fucking kill us. Look at, I've never... Look at the girl. She would fucking kill us. She would fuck you up. That's not your mom. <laughs> <laughs> but it looks a little bit like your mom. A little like my mom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's got, got like we, she got like Chinese stars in there and everything. <laughs> yeah, you got to be careful, dude. These guys are gonna kill us. You know that they're gonna come fuck with us. Hey, we're pro Yakuza. We love you guys. We love it, Fullerton boys. We love you guys. Uh, it. The Bamboo Crew. Yeah. Love you boys. Ship Station. Oh my God, we have an online business here at Bad Friends. We're selling merch, and you better and buy some. And we use Ship Station. That's right. The best time to prepare for growth is before the opportunity arrives, especially for online businesses. ShipStation sets you up for growth by directly integrating with every shopping cart and storefront so your products are easier to find, easier to manage, and easier to get into the hands of happy customers. Don't wait until you're drowning in orders to find the right shipping solution. Upgrade to ShipStation today. Bob and I use ShipStation on this show. We have for a long time. In regards to our merch, baby, they are great. They get it out. And here's the best part. Uh, ShipStation integrates with every platform, Amazon, Etsy, eBay, Shopify, making it easy to manage all your shipping from one simple dashboard. You can maximize your sales with minimal effort, my friends. 98% of companies that use ShipStation for one year become customers for life. That's Come incredible. On. That's amazing. 98% of them. That's so amazing. Join over 130,000 companies who have grown their e-commerce business with ShipStation. We use it. We love it. You should too if you're looking to ship something out. Go to ShipStation.com today and sign up with the promo code BADFRIENDS for a free 60-day trial. Two months. Start up today and get up set up before the biggest shipping season of the year. That's two months for free. Visit ShipStation.com, click the microphone at the top, and type in the code BADFRIENDS. ShipStation.com, click on the microphone at the top, and type in the code BADFRIENDS. ShipStation, make, make ship, ship happen. happen. This episode is brought to you by Ridge, Ridge Wallet. Wallet. The Ridge Wallet holds up to 12 cards plus room for cash. There's over 30 colors and styles, including the Hennessy Performance, the Carbon Fiber, and Burt Titanium. These wallets are over 50,000 five-star reviews, and they come with a lifetime warranty. And I'm going to say this to you. Bobby gave me a Ridge wallet That's right. on one of the very first couple of episodes I did of his other podcast, uh, silly, is whatever you, silly Boy or what silly, is it called? Silly Boys. Silly Boys. Yeah. Um, and he gave me the carbon fiber one. I still have it to this day. And guess what? I'm what? not kidding. It's fallen out of my pocket and it never broke. It never snapped. It never got damaged. It stayed I'm, tough. May I say something? I'm not going to read the copy. I want to be real for one moment, okay? Uh -huh. The Ridge wallet is the only wallet I use, all right? right. It is compact. It's stylistic, right? It's it's just you know all the other like all the cards slip out of the other wallets they look messy this and that the Ridge wallet is my wallet it's for got life. It's a RFID blocking technology exactly. that protects you from digital pickpocketers, which is huge. Here's a special bonus for our listeners: with every dollar spent on the website before September 30th, you'll be entered to win a brand new upgraded Ford Bronco. Oh my god! What? Buy a wallet, you might win a car or seventy five thousand dollars if you prefer. The cash. winner will be announced in October. Get your Ridge wallet and enter the chance to win a Ford Bronco. Go to uh, ridge.com slash bad friends. Use the coupon code bad friend to enter. That's ridge.com slash bad friends. They're probably arresting this guy because they caught him for 50 years. Yakuza boss. Oh, he was sentenced to hanging. Whoa. They hung him? They How hung long ago guy. was that? Uh, last year. Whoa, they so, hung the Yakuza guy last wow. year. Wow. Uh -oh. They still do hangings, huh? In where was that? In Japan. Dude, Japan is so cool. Yeah. Why? Do you think hangings are cool? Well, I mean, it's like, yeah, kind of. Yeah, it is pretty cool. I mean, it's like that's a way to punish people, I guess. Yeah. You know? Because it's you, legit. Would you, like back in the day, you know, the villagers used to come out and witness it. Like it was like a Sunday night, Sunday Sunday football game. I know exactly what I would do. What would you go? I would I would, I would, starve myself before the hanging, and I, <laughs> and I would make sure that my pants barely fit. So the moment I dropped in the rope pit, my yeah. penis would come out. My pants would fall down. Oh, you mean if you were hung? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So oh, I get I one see. last laugh. Yeah. So then I'd be like, ah, my dick would be out at every. I'd be That's just swinging a around. Good one. Like, ah, and yeah. I'd laugh my way out. I would be concerned about what my face was doing when I died. <laughs> That's good. Wouldn't you focus on like what your face would look like? No, because you can't. I can't. That's why he'll do the. So I, That's I, why I'm doing the dick <laughs> thing. No, dude. I would do this. The things around my neck, and I'd go like this. 
<laughs> <laughs> to freeze like that. To freeze, and hopefully when it hangs, it hangs like that. <laughs> or, you know what would be really sick? Yeah. Same thing with my loose pants. Starve myself loose pants, one little string. Nobody wants to see your dick, dude. No, dude, I'm going to tuck it in my ass. I'm going to tuck no it in my ass. No one wants to see that. That way when it hangs, oh, mangina, and then as I let go all my muscles, oh, whoop, it comes right out. Right. People are going to die laughing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go out with a fucking laugh, dude. Yeah, even if if you I, see a, if you saw the dick out of my butt and right. come for you'd be like, this guy's hilarious. Even if you and I right went to see his hanging, we'd be sad, right? No, no. We at first oh. we would be like, oh my god, we're gonna see Andrew hung today, right? Yeah. And then you would hang, and we would look up and go, <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. I like it. It would be fun. I would. I like it. It would be fun. Yeah, yeah. And Thank you, you go, for the laugh. And you go, that's my boy. That's my boy right I there. Love yeah. yeah, little dick. Little dick over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And well, we would know it's coming now. So as we're waiting, everyone's crying. We, Bobby and I would be like, just wait for it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you would you, think that we would know that you... Oh, I yeah, would yeah, tell yeah. you guys. Now we know. Oh, I would sell it out. You would? Oh, yeah, like a bringer room. <laughs> you'd promote, you'd promote oh, my yeah. hanging? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you, dude, how happy would you be? You're going to get a huge laugh. My, and I'm yeah. inviting CAA. I'm bringing <laughs> agents, oh, publicists. Oh, yeah, The Hollywood Reporter. By the way, this is a great sketch. You guys coming to my hanging? Yeah. They're like, well, let's see if we can be there. The agents for sure show up late. They're like, he's already hung. Uh, we had a dinner. <laughs> I know, right? We had a dinner. <laughs> yeah. We couldn't make it. How was it, though? Was it yeah, was it good? Did you do well? <laughs> he crushed? All right, good shit. I crushed his neck. The, but what's that one called? The, is it the one with, with the guillotine? Guillotine. 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 Yeah. Is That's that the one where the thing comes down? The, the, yes, the big, it would chop it chops your head off. Yeah, yeah, that, no. Well, I've heard after the head gets chopped off, a lot they've reported that the the person's head will say something. Or, or it'll still move for a second. Yeah, like it's yeah. still alive after it's detached. Wait, 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 it'll say something? I've heard it. Like what? I don't know. What Ow? <laughs> like, what does it say? What does it say? That's an opportunity for a joke, too. Yeah, you're right. I didn't do right, it. Yeah. I didn't do it? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Or Right as your head gets chopped off in a guillotine and it rolls No, I around. know what, what I would say. Huh? Chopped off, roll, ta-da. <laughs> ta-da would be good. Ta-da. Ta-da. What would you do? I'd say, the treasure is buried. Oh, oh that's so that's good. A, such a good one. And they'd be like, where? Where? where, where? Yeah, yeah. So they're panicking. And they try yeah. to put your head back on. Come yeah. on, come on. Yeah. What would I say if it fell? Yeah, I don't know. If I was decapitated and my head fell off and it yeah. rolled around for a second and they came up to me, and my last words would be, Oh, I was going to say something awful, and I just held my tongue. I know what it was. Go ahead. What you were going to say. What? I can't say it. Yeah, I know. I, know. I can't either. To be yeah, yeah, I yeah. know. Yeah. It's bad. I was... Yeah. Imagine, this was appointment viewing before we had, you know, TGIF. Before before it was like Friday night sitcom night. This was people getting together in town. They're like, they dressed up. They're like, what time are you going to be there? This is this is what was gross about it. It was like for fun. It, they were, it was, this was the jam. I, I don't think I would go. I'd well, be that one guy like, have you ever been? I go, nah, I've, I've passed on every time. I have such good tickets. You have to come with no, us. I can't. You have box seats? Box? Dude, yeah. I'm on the floor. You're on the floor? And we can go VIP. We can go oh, backstage. Really? You can touch the knife. Because my grandfather has like the nosebleed seats. Yeah, and, dude, We can never see anything. You can't see shit from up there. All right, I'll try one day. You've got to be down on the floor. And then I show up and it's going to be like a Gallagher show. Like, I mean, yeah. <laughs> like watermelon, but blood. Somebody's yeah. selling one of those. They, they sell those, those, yeah. those, those, those smocks. They're like, this is a splash zone. <laughs> You guys will get hit with blood. Right. I'm going to be seating. Yeah, you'll be. <laughs> she'll be working the door. Yeah. Juicy is working the door. She's selling booths at the fucking, at the guillotine. She's like, look, if you want to be closer, it's a hundred bucks. I don't know what you want to say. Well, maybe it's like a baseball game when they catch the head, they get excited. <laughs> like, I got it. I got it. <laughs> Some kid. Now give it to a kid. Yeah, give it to yeah, a kid. Yeah, give it you to can't a kid. keep it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, that's so funny. Like that, like. <laughs> Live Nation presents The oh, Hanging. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the fucking, one of these promoters, these massive what, promotion What companies. if you don't sell out, though? How sad. How sad. Yeah. Ticketmaster is like, look, dude, this event did not do well. Well, you're there, right? And you're about to do it, and you see the numbers, and there's like three guys there. Your agent comes up to you right before he, they kill you, and he's like, listen, dude, 60% is still, it looks good. <laughs> right. It looks more full than it is, for sure, but it it... No one's gonna. It's great. This is a market we're building on. <laughs> yeah, but you're sitting there, and I, I, I hear somebody going, "I thought this was Ronnie Chang's fucking hanging." <laughs> <laughs> right? And you're like, I can't even. Yeah. That's that's what we sell it as someone else. Yeah. You know to me, and they're like, "This is not Bill Burr. This is not that's his Bill guillotine." <laughs> we're getting out of here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that'd be terrible. Go sell selling tickets to a fucking a local 
You know what they also used to do, though? That's insane, too. Like, burning. Witch burning and shit. They would just burn people in the town square. Town square was like the spot. That was a spot. That's where you used to get fucking murked up. Yeah. The witch burning shit was wild. They would just find a chick that said, like, no to her husband. They're like, light her on fire. <laughs> it was nuts, dude. It was like a woman being like, I don't want to do that. And they're like, she's a witch. Light her on fire. Well, they'd be like, if she is a witch, she'll get out of this fire. Right. Right. But if she's not a witch... We fucked up. She oh, did. well, one down. <laughs> yeah. Whatever. You gotta lo- You win some, you lose some. You know? But let me just say something. It's insane. If the witch was super hot, would you be like, ah? They wouldn't burn her. You don't think they would? This is the thing. Our society's been obsessed with, with looks our whole uh, forever since the beginning of time. Yeah. We reward good-looking people. So even if they're bad, we're not going to punish them. Right. They're too hot. If Brad Pitt fucking did something atrocious we'd all be like i don't know is did he really and they'd be like we have proof and then we'd be like i don't know yeah it's Brad. that sucks man yeah he's too hot do you think you would be burned oh yeah yeah i'd be burned <laughs> <laughs> but make no mistake yeah everyone in this room is getting burned i don't think you i'm getting no yeah. no they're burned. No, fuck you i'm getting burned. i've met girls he's since i've been burned. single i've huh? met <laughs> What I've, did you say? <laughs> He's dude, burned. you're walking on fucking thin, thin ice, dude. dude. Yeah. It's nuts. You came back here from Spain with a fucking attitude. <laughs> yeah. I'm sick of it, dude. Listen here, elote boy. You need to cut it the fuck out. Look at that. The elote shit got both of these guys. Yeah. Yeah. What did you do in Spain? Put the mic near your mouth, Rudy. What How was you your family? Do? Is your family good? Yeah. My family is good. And you, you spent time with them? Yeah. What was one thing that you did with them? I went on a Euro trip. You toured Europe? Yes. Fuck, man. You are so boring. So boring. It's nuts. What did you do? I miss you a lot. I was like, every day, like, what are they doing now? They're probably shooting bad friends. Did you miss us? Oh, yeah. He didn't miss us at all. (laughs) He didn't? I thought he was serious. No, he's not. He's being facetious. It's the no. Yeah, we're going to the Philippines next month together. Yeah. For how long? For a week. Yeah. I can't wait. What are you guys doing there? So exciting. I'm doing my talent show. We're doing Bobby's talent show. Oh right! The, the, oh, that's right. You're, this is the voice. Yeah. Yeah, I do my talent show there. Are they? Are you making money on this? No, I like <laughs> to do my talent show. Probably losing money. <laughs> we're, we're, I, well, I, I think I'm, I've already lost twenty grand, right? Yes. <laughs> You're paying twenty grand to go to the Philippines to, to do, do my own talent show. show yeah. But why? Why? I'm filming it. Right to just put it on the internet? No. Netflix. I want to pitch it as a show. Oh, you, what's it called? Bobby Lee's talent show. <laughs> that's cool. Bobby Lee's. Talent extravaganza. Uh, talent extravaganza. I'm going to wear a monocle, right? Did you get it? <laughs> yes. And a cane. Okay. No, because I want to be like that guy from Jurassic Park, the very first one. I was thinking about yeah. the, the Monopoly guy. Something like Richard that. Richard Attenborough. Yeah, Richard Attenborough. I'm going to come up and pretend I have a limp, <laughs> right? I want to welcome to my talent show. Oh, do you have an accent the whole time? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Bonjour. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> oh, you're French. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> They're not going to know any difference. They're Filipinos, right? right? It's and, are you taxes. ready for you know the time of your life? <laughs> right. <sighs> Right, and there's gonna be dancing and stuff like that, and oh, then yeah. I'm gonna film a town show. Because the last time I did it was the greatest t- night of my life, of your life. Oh my god, it was the best. I thought someone was gonna die. It was amazing. This is a midlife crisis. We're re- you know going back <laughs> to that moment. Yeah, I'm going through a midlife. You know, are you really? I'm going through a crisis. Yeah. Do you think so? Oh yeah. I think you feel good. You no, look I don't. good. No, I feel lost. <laughs> Bob, oh, no. what? I feel lost. When did this start? I can take a guess. Yeah, could ask. Three or four months, I've been kind of lost. That's exactly when we started working together. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, the timing. A midlife crisis happens anywhere 40 to 60 years old. And I got to tell you, it affects men and women. <clears throat> now, I, that part I don't believe. Yeah, I think more I think men. it's almost always a male thing. Yeah, I had a midlife crisis at 19. <laughs> yeah, yeah, not a real thing. Not a real thing. <laughs> the, you know, you no, know you, do you know what it is? I've said this before on the show. It's a midlife assessment. It means you're like reassess because what you do is it's actually a positive thing. It has a negative connotation, but I think it's the opposite. The reason that people have a quote unquote midlife crisis is because you've lived enough life where you can actually look back and go, wow, I've lived a lot of life. What do I want to change in the future so I don't repeat mistakes from prior that I want to grow and be happy? And like it's usually because your life is going, hey, it's time for a shift. Mm -hmm. We have to move into a new Part of our life. I think it's a positive and thing. And that's when you buy the new car. <laughs> yeah. I got a new car. You did that. Yeah. But that's not always... That, it's not like you bought an obnoxious douchebag car and fucking... But like, for me, it was. 
You know, I used to drunk drive shit cars. Yeah, your last car was always covered in bird shit. It was. <laughs> <laughs> and you would what was well, okay, let's talk about my last car. What was in there? And I know from working a lot because I'd have to drive it and you'd pull in. I, I don't even remember, but it was like a Toyota or a Honda or something yeah, yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, uh, and it was yeah. just like you? piles of trash. <laughs> and dirty. It was dirty. disgusting. And disgusting. now it's Rudy's car. <laughs> yeah, now Rudy has it. Is, these are the symptoms? Of a midlife crisis. Oh, let me see. Feeling Ask me sad? the questions. Ask me the questions. Uh, maybe don't I'll look at. Don't just I look won't. at me. I'm looking at you. Do you feel sad? Yes. Or do you lack confidence? I lack confidence. Both, <laughs> especially after a big milestone accomplishment or a birthday, like on your birthday or when something big happens, do you still feel sad or you lack confidence? Yes. Okay. Do you feel bored often? Yes. Do you feel like you've lost meaning or purpose in your life? Yes. Okay. <laughs> We're four for four. Do you feel unfulfilled in life? Yes. Five for five. Do you have feelings of nostalgia? Oh yeah. Do you excessively think about the past? Like during the day, do you just constantly think about the past? Yeah. Do you make impulsive actions? No. But but I, I have impulsive thinking. Okay. Do you have feelings of regret? No. Okay. So no. Okay. Didn't hit all the targets. <laughs> okay. So, yeah. You have to have all the symptoms for it to be real. Mm -hmm. No, you don't. <laughs> I'm a doctor. <laughs> Not. No. <laughs> It, and it's a feeling of like it's a feeling. I, I think what happened was you know you see people die, you know that you know Your right, dad. Uh -huh. right, uh -huh. and then you kind of think about their age and you know what your age is, and you kind of do some math. And you think you're gonna die? I mean, Bob was sixty five, right? And I'm fifty, so it's like you yeah, know. But Bob died as a freak accident. I know. That my point is that you guy. still think that way. And no, it's no, I'm like, saying you're right. He was healthy. You should die way before. <laughs> I know. He was a healthy That's the guy thing. It's like so. Act. It's like you, you don't know, but um, and you kind of go. You know, I want to do something different, and I want to you know, just milk these next chapter of my life. And I want to milk mean? it for what? It's... What are you going to do? How do you milk it? Well, for instance, I'm not as scared anymore. Of what? What were you scared of? I used to get like really nervous on set for a film or a movie. Yeah. Or I mean, a TV and show. now I just don't feel that, yeah. which is cool. That's great. I yeah, gotta like, be honest. I feel that I I have that too. But also, <clears throat> a piece of me um, thinks it withholds me from like living in the moment sometimes. Because yeah, but you, you but you also think like are they like I don't I'm not I'm not more like I used to be focused on do do they think that I'm good or do they am I doing it right or no. all those kind of questions and those questions are like not very much like I don't give a shit. But it's all a no. You're not doing good. <laughs> nope. <laughs> nobody cares. Yeah, nobody cares. I feel that way, but I feel like it's a detriment. I miss the fear a little bit. Maybe. But you should always be living like you're not going to live tomorrow. So having that wonder of like what's going to happen if I die soon, even no matter what your age is, obviously it probably gets worse as you get older. <laughs> but, it, it, does. it does. And I know it does for me, but, but it, you know, it's good to think about that. Well, how old are you now, Juice, again? 30s. I'm 32, but I yeah. remember like partying a lot in my in like my late teens early 20s and doing psychedelics and you know thinking about death more yeah and, yeah. and then there was like a shift where i like got my life together kind of slowly but you know yeah i guess and th but there's also um there's something that happened the other day at the improv and i can't i want to name the person but i know a, a woman who did comedy maybe when i started doing comedy she was a headliner and then i didn't see her for like many many years but I've seen her around lately, and she comes to me, and she's much, so much older and needy. And she comes to me, she goes, I don't know what happened. It's like, I can't get spots anymore. I'm going to all these clubs. No one knows me. And it's like, you know, I still got it. I still got it. Is this Nikki Glaser? <laughs> <laughs> oh no, 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 no. You know what I mean? And, and, and you know what I mean? And I, and I, I kind of want to look at her and go, like, it's, I want to say it's over, you know? But it's like, I'm not there, and I don't want to get there. No one needs to say that to anybody. I didn't say that. No, but I'm saying... I always go... They'll figure it I out. I always say, keep trying. They'll they'll get there on their own. Yeah. But you see that kind of desperation, and you kind of go, yeah, I'm in a good place right now, you know? Yeah, you're yeah very blessed. Yeah, yeah. Because, you know, it can all go away. It okay, now I'm really scared. Away. I was feeling pretty confident. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why the, 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 this pod went to this direction. Let's switch it up. I don't think we can. Let's stay here. I like it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I like it. Yeah. What are you scared about? Oh, my God. Um, Something that I'm afraid of is the more people get to know me, like, on a bigger scale, like on a public scale, um, they will like me less. 
Oh man. Oh man. That is, sure. that is so real. It's so real. And can I tell you something? <laughs> yeah, I thought you're you guys right. were like, fuck you. Yeah. No, we're no, right. right. And they, w- they <laughs> will hate you. Yeah. They will hate you. Here's the problem. <clears throat> Me personally? No, no. Yeah, yeah, you personally. Yeah. The royal, the royal. Like I spoke to another comic on the phone the other night and we were just kind of fucking lamenting about, you know, s- sometimes the pressure from doing the thing, the thing that you want, makes you question yourself more than you ever did when you when before m- less people knew you but it didn't matter right and it still doesn't matter quote unquote but like it's scary because look we do this show we do other stuff so many people see us and they and you want to connect with them and you want to grow with them and you want to have fun but sometimes they hate you just because or they you know they they find things to get upset or annoyed or whatever about because they enjoy you so naturally, sometimes they're going to be like, I don't like when Juicy does that. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. you're like, but why? Yeah. <laughs> Who cares? So it's going to happen. The more bigger, the bigger you get, you'll have some people that will. Like I read a comment yesterday. It was a direct message from a guy and he goes, you're 10,000 times funnier than Andrew Santino. Yeah. And I thought, that's my friend. Wait. That's my body. Yeah. Don't yeah. tell him I wrote you that. <laughs> <laughs> that was you? That was, yeah, yeah. Just kidding. Oh, it's the smooth sack summer, <laughs> it baby. Is the smooth sack summer. You got a smooth sack. We, we That's why, because of Manscaped, man. Yeah, you do. You Manscaped that smooth, beautiful sack. And I got to tell you, if anybody doesn't know, when you're playing in the summer sun, make sure that you're smooth. You know, you want that, you want that pubes to your butt all soft and baby smooth like Bobby. The Manscaped Performance Package 4.0 has everything you need to prepare that summer bod. Inside this package, you'll find their Lawnmower 4.0 trimmer, weed whacker, ear and nose hair trimmer, crop preserver ball deodorant, crop reviver toner, performance boxer briefs, and a travel bag to hold your goodies. What else do you need, man? That Lawnmower 4.0, I love that. They have a skin safe technology, so you're not going to nick your sack. I've told you that if you nick your sack, you've done it once, you never want to do it again, you get scared, but you got to be able to clean up safely. The Skin Safe technology does that with the Lawnmower 4.0. It's got a 7,000 RPM motor. Vroom, vroom, dude. Manscaped even threw in two free gifts to their Performance Package 4.0. The Manscaped boxers and shed travel bag that will bring your comfort to another level. My favorite part is it's waterproof. That's one of the best things. So you can shave your nuts in the shower where they belong. All right, so how do you get this? How do you get a smooth sack summer, Bob? Get 20% off and free shipping with code BADFRIENDS at manscaped.com. That's That's 20% off free shipping with the code BADFRIENDS at manscaped.com. It's Smooth Sack Summer, boys. Get on board or get left behind. Today's episode is brought to you by True True Classic. Classic. Hey, Andrew, you know the only thing that I wear on my upper body is T-shirts, right? You love T-shirts. And I love True Classic. It's amazing. Finding that perfect fit shirt can be terrible and i know i have a really weird body you do have such a weird body i swear the thing is either way too tight has a case of bacon neck or is just plain big and boxy luckily true classic wants to make every man look good and feel good in their tees tighter fit in the chest and sleeves to make your arms pop baby looking jacked and room in the torso to keep things cozy plus all their styles are super soft and pocket friendly so guys no excuses get rid of those ratty t-shirts that you got laying around i know you've been hanging on to them for years and years it's time to upgrade almost all men's t-shirts are designed to look good on a certain body type think skinny models with six packs but most of us aren't packing anything but a few beers you sandwiches too yeah and there's nothing wrong with that guys i have it my dudes it's simple you are wearing the wrong clothes it's more than just a t-shirt company they got all the menswear staples that you need right now polos workout shirts with the same flattering fit. You got to check them out. Check so, it out. Here's what you do. We got an exclusive deal for the listeners. We want to hook you up with some true classic, baby. For a limited time only, get 25% off with the code BADFRIENDS at trueclassic.com. That's 25% off the code BADFRIENDS at trueclassic.com. And, you, and when they say and, Andrew Santino's, you know what I mean, not all that, all that's, and I just feel bad, and I just go, no, that's not true. It's not really true. Well, it's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, yeah. You know, so yeah, I read something um that said a guy was like uh Santino's not a <laughs> com- comedian as much as he is a host of like a Disney show or something like that. Oh, I saw that too actually. Did you really? Yeah. It was on trash. Yeah, it's weird. It was like the first thing I saw. And 
I just made mine up, by the way. I was just trying to do a joke. And... No, no, no. I know this yeah, was yeah. real. This, yeah, yeah, was, yeah. this was real. Yeah. Yeah. No, I know that was. I a don't joke. want you go go through a midlife crisis right now. <laughs> no, no. I'm okay. I'm having a really good time. All right, great. When I was on Animal Practice, the Rolling Stone magazine said mm -hmm. that Bobby Lee and another guy, I forgot, maybe Tyler Labine, that was on it, right? I love that guy. And he said, uh, Rolling Stone said these are sitcom killers. <laughs> To you and Tyler? Yeah. Like in a bad way? Like Yeah, yeah. These guys, like this is not going to last. You know what I mean? Is there any truth to that? And this is their last chance. Worst Damn. TV of 2012. <laughs> well, I never got haters from Rolling Stone. Wait, wait, wait. Is that, uh, wait, that's the show I was on? It's yeah. the worst TV of 2012? <laughs> <laughs> I got to oh tell you. God. Yeah, yeah. You got number uh, five. Five worst TV on. God, you're not even number one. It's so crazy. I mean, if you're going to be the, the worst, at least be like me. Look at me, time. Yeah, we're fucking, yeah. we're num we're 7% <laughs> on Rotten Tomatoes. We're down there. Yeah, yeah. I don't mind when people, no, but listen, Juice, it, it, people are going to, people are going to love you even more who really know you, they're going to love you. And then you're going to have some haters, but I don't know. What, who gives a, what the fuck, who cares? Yeah, you just have to, I guess, just be courageous and keep stepping into, like, just being yourself. But stand up is such a thing where you, they want you to talk about your personal life. Yeah. So you have to give more of yourself, but you just have to put yourself up for the judgment and stuff. But yeah, because oh. it's gonna happen, dude. People are gonna yeah. love you and dislike you. Oh, so you you can't foresee. Animal practice seventeen seventeen. <laughs> Get ready. Pretty fucking bad. Almost as bad as me time. <laughs> <laughs> Almost as bad as me time. You're right. Except. A lot of people saw our movie. Yeah, and I, I, I literally I thought that was gonna be a cultural phenomenon. But only six people rated it. To, I, I literally thought this is gonna change. That's even more embarrassing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Six so humans. Critics. Yeah. What does that go up to popular TV on Tomatoes? Oh wait, was, did I have my photo down there? Please no. Yeah. Yeah, they do. Doctor. I hate Yamamoto. that photo of you, by the way. Yeah. I hate that photo because it's like a fa it's like a fat weird care. It looks like a caricature of you. That's yeah. not even you. I Look like your hair, though. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I think it's cool and crazy. Yeah. No, do you think he's Kim Wheatley? That no, he Bobby's to the left. Oh, sorry, <laughs> <laughs> my, my bad. Yeah. People are gonna throw shade. Also, people are gonna love you because of how fucking great you are. But so, also, you can't foresee how things are gonna change. We don't know what the business is gonna do. Like for instance, twenty years ago, um, I never thought that podcasting was ever gonna be a thing. Right. So I was always just doing stand up and thing not it wasn't even in my reality. Right. And then a after a while, you're like, oh, I think I'm just going to be a road comic. I mean, this is really. And then podcasting became a thing. And then I did that. And it kind of restarted a lot of elements of my career, you know. So you don't know what's in the future. Just go with the flow. Yeah. Adapt. Right. And change. Yeah, when eventually you'll start making shitty movies. That's when you know you made it. <laughs> yeah. I can't wait. Do you see this guy's taking shots at us all day? All day. <laughs> you know, I'm, you know, let me back myself up a little bit, okay? <laughs> I'm a really funny motherfucker in that movie. Yeah. You are. And you know what I'm going to do, Fancy? What? And I said this at the press day, which I don't think Netflix liked, but I was like, someone was like, you know, what? what should you tell people about the movie? And I was like, only watch my scenes. <laughs> and the press guy was like, what? And I was like, I'm going to, on Instagram, I'm going to time code only my scenes so you can just jump through to watch just me. When met that <laughs> yeah, dick. <laughs> when I went to meet that uh, commercial agent, he was telling me about how Bobby was the king back in the day booking commercials and how one time you booked this commercial for Maxwell Coffee mm -hmm. and the role was literally for a white guy in a suit and Bobby booked it and he asked you, what were you wearing for the audition? You were dressed just like you are now. You still booked it. And you still booked no, it. Was, no, it was, it was, they, the, the description was, we want an older Brad Pitt in a turtleneck, right? And he's going to be chopping wood in the forest. I see it. Right? Yeah. yeah. And, I, and, he, and I go, submit me. And, and he, my agent goes, he's Korean. And he goes, you're not going to submit me. Do you know why? Because there was no dialogue, and when there's no dialogue in commercial auditions, they ask you, "What was your weekend like?" Like, there's no auditions; they just want to see what you're. Because 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 the whole commercial is me just drinking coffee on a thing, right? Uh -huh. So they'll just ask you, like, "What was your weekend?" And I knew that I would be able to kill with my words. Yeah. So I just knew that I would be able to win them over with just talking. Yeah. So any of any, I don't care what of it, big fat black lady, <laughs> submit me. <laughs> submit awesome. me. Do you think you're gonna get that? Yeah. Hmm. What's wrong? I was just. What's what, what's your attitude right now? 
I was thinking about something else. <laughs> what were you thinking about? I was just thinking What's about wrong? when she, when she had said that you used to like kill it back in the day. <clears throat> What's wrong? When she said that, it made me feel a type of way because it was like Bobby was the king of commercials. Yeah, no, I know. And then and then I felt this thing where I was like, "That's right, dude. My best friend was the king." But then I looked at you and I was like, "That the king has fallen." <laughs> mean it like that yeah why did you set me up because you don't do commercials no more but you know the way she said it she was just like yeah they had to take his crown away yeah Yeah. the crown's gone because he didn't know where he was he started to forget what room he was in (laughs) (laughs) that's how that's how she said it that is exactly how you said that's how you said it you set me up for failure my bad yeah (laughs) Yeah. So sweet. My bad. To the guillotine. <laughs> to the guillotine. Burn this witch. <gasps> oh, my what God. Is this? Oh, my God. This oh, is what from, we from, talked from about. From France? No. no. Oh. From Give it to me. Give it to me. Give it to me. This is what we talked about last week. Okay. You said you wanted an array of sunflower seeds for yeah. the studio. Yeah. Oh. So we got sweet and salty, jumbo jalapeno, sweet and spicy, Original. a ridge. Black crack. Cracked. Buffalo style. Ranch. Ranch. Barbecue. Dill pickle, we got it all. Wow, thank you. But most importantly, yeah. Oh, I want to try those. And this is not an ad, but my God, yeah. This, these are these are Tate's cookies. I bragged about this last time. Mm-hmm. Tate's makes the best, but these are the blueberry ones. I brought these for the staff at the comedy store because I love them so much. I want to see if they're as good as you th- say they are. Go ahead. And I'm going to be real. Go ahead, be real. All right. Because I love cookies. Yeah, Cheers. All right. Thanks. So here I go. That's how you know he was the king of commercials. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> mm. You know what? I, mm. Okay, I have to admit. I have to admit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Out of all the cookies I've ever had in my lifetime. No. Yes. <laughs> okay. Okay. In fact, I just went to Boa mm. yesterday and I got mm. their fresh cook. This is the best bite. Mm-hmm. That was the first, the best first bite mm-hmm. I've ever had. You with know a cookie. why? The blueberry. The blueberry. You can it's... smell. You can smell it. And you know what it is? The blueberry is soft, but it's but the cookie's still crispy. Cook crispy cookie. Hey, can I say this? Can I say this? Can yeah. I say this? Yeah. That's fucking real blueberry, real, baby. Real. That's real blueberry, real blueberry baby. baby. That's not fake. No fake. No. This ain't no fake. Fa- berry. Factory fucking this is berry. Real deal. This is a real fucking berry, dude. Wow, crunch. real blueberries. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Dude, that voice you just did is the fucking. That's a commercial. It's a co- yeah. You get a book. <laughs> that was a commercial audition. Oh god. Oh god, is these cookies? These are so. By fucking the way, how good. do they get them so crispy and the blueberries to be so soft? How does that do that? Because these are these are crispy. And the butter. Mm. It's a buttery cookie. It's a buttery cookie. Yeah, yeah. So- um, how, what makes <laughs> what makes the cookies so deeply delicious? It's something we call the bake shop way. Wow. No, can we you know, can we sh- talk about now the yeah. thing I told you yesterday? Yeah, let's move Mataya on. Mataya Gatao. Okay. Untold stories. The woman, the girl that didn't exist. Untold. Untold stories. It's a stories. Doc- sports documentary series. I love. They're all great. And let me tell you something. What? The the Brocker Way. The brothers that do that. Yeah. I couldn't be bigger fans of. They're yeah. so talented. I'm trying to sit with these guys. Yeah. Because they did my favorite documentary of all time, which I told you about. I know you don't give a fuck about baseball, but The Better Bastards of Baseball is the best documentary about sports I think I've ever seen in my life. It's about Bing Russell, Kurt Russell's father, who bought a baseball team. Oh, wow. Dude. Okay, know- I'll watch it. Oh. Is it an untold story? Oh. It's an untold? No, it's it's the same guys that made that. Untold is just a series. Uh, yeah. This was just a singular documentary okay. they did before. All right. So this untold about Manti Teo, it's called The Girlfriend That hey, Didn't Do you know exist. about this? Mm-mm. Oh, oh my she God! Wouldn't it's know who so, this is. it's unfucking believable. So Manti Teo was an incredible, uh, incredible football player that played at University of Notre Dame. A very from Hawaii. He's from Hawaii. Mormon. He was Mormon, and and they're a Catholic hardcore. It's a Christian college that's known that's rooted in Catholicism. It's it's in the Midwest. It's that's their whole thing. So he's a fish out of water there. Well, now he's a church kid, but he's a Mormon church. He's kid. a he's star. Are... He's a star on the Notre Dame. No, Notre Bain? Bain it is. Yeah. Notre Bain. I don't think it's at Notre... It's Notre Bain. Notre yeah. Dame. Notre Dame. Dame's Notre a, Dame. Dame is a... 
is a, a woman. Nor- Notre Dame baseball. Notre Dame. Ba- well, it's not baseball. <laughs> no, it's basketball. Football, football. He played basketball. Football. It's baseball now. Notre Dame football team, right? He's a star, right? Yeah. He's a great linebacker, correct? Mm-hmm. Defensive tackle, right? Defensive, whatever he is. He's in the backside. Defensive. Anyway, a big star, right? And then his grandma dies, right? And then hours later, his girlfriend dies. Right, and then he has to play this game. Murder suicide? No, they're not together. <laughs> <laughs> Juicy's the best. Juicy's the best. That would be a great story. Grandma, girlfriend, murder suicide. Yeah, murder suicide. Who I did, don't think that's ever happened. But who did what? Right. Be Ooh. tight if the grandmother was like, "You the fucking, fucking bitch." They'll try. Yeah. And, and then she then took she was a like, night. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, man. No. Uh, Good luck on your game, Mateo. <laughs> Mateo. Mateo. <laughs> <laughs> he was basically, Manti Teo was, was essentially catfish before catfishing even existed. This girl. This unquote, girl that killed her, him, that his girlfriend didn't, didn't wasn't exist. real. It was, uh, it was a It was a man who, uh, this is the. This That's is, the man. That, well, first of all, this is the, this is when. <laughs> And they say it in a documentary. <laughs> so I just uh, stop. When this person, I know. Let me explain. When yeah. this person, can you go to a different photo than this one? No, that's the one. She, what, it is her. All right, it's her now. But then she was a man. When she was catfishing the football player, the guy on the top left, this person was a man. When this was going on, and right. he'd only met her online or something. He never met her. Are they he, he never met he, this guy. Let me explain. Catfish. This guy, uh, this guy, this girl, this that girl you now see was a guy pretended to be a girl online okay. using someone else's photos. Okay, catfish. So sh- this guy took photos from somebody else's account and pretended to be a girl by the name of Lalani. 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 Some shit. Mm-hmm. Lalani. Okay, I'm following now. Yeah. Right, and and then they developed a relationship. So Montai, that was the guy. That That's before, the guy. That's before, before she was a was, woman. Yeah. Yeah. So fucking complicated. It's, I know. It's impossible to talk about it without someone being like, "What is? It? What yeah. are you saying?" And yeah, you're like, yeah. I, I'm trying. Yeah, yeah. This person is someone else now. They're a different person. They go by a different fucking name. This dude who happens to be gay, is he gay? See another twist. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I don't. I don't, don't want to make assumptions. She didn't say what she is now. It, it, yeah. I don't, dude. Honestly. So did he, she fake her death? Yes. Fake the death and because then, and then she says what well, she pretends to be her brother calls Manti and says she has leukemia and she's dying. It's crazy. She dies, but the, here's the twist. He, ESPN. Everyone goes. Manti's girlfriend dies and a grandmother dies. Huge news, right? Yeah. And it's like the story of this guy still winning and you know what I mean, and still participating in the sport and killing it and this and that. And then the girl calls him four months later and says, "I'm alive." I'm alive. Yeah. And here's the deal. Oh, I got chills. Who released the article? Deadspin. Deadspin. Deadspin yeah. Yeah. And Deadspin basically exposed it as fake. But here was what was wild. The media. This was also you have to remember. This is what. This is probably a. This is two thousand nine, so yeah. it would have been the twelve, the two thousand twelve season. Oh, my bad, two thousand twelve. Okay. okay, yeah, I was um, three years off. Sorry. No, no, no. You're no, no, no. But essentially, what was going on in the media was they were like, because he was catfished, and they found out it was from this guy, that the media was like, he's gay, and he's just afraid to be gay, and he's right. not. But the media was like, yeah, he is. This is what he's hiding. Mm-hmm. He's hiding that he's gay, and, and he was supposed to be like the first round draft pick, and he wasn't. Right. He he, and he his, still went pro. He did Whoa. go pro. He played. It didn't pan out. It didn't pan out the way po- it should have. Politics had to play. Well, here was the problem. This is something I said. I think I said to you over the phone when when you said we were like have to watch it. I was like, this is one of those times when you know when people say like language is getting woke and shit today. Yeah. That it's a good thing because you look back and you go the whole media, ESPN was like. Bet he's a secret homo. And they, <laughs> no, I mean, seriously. And they were all laughing about it. Yeah. And because there wasn't people to go, hey, man, you can't just throw that shit out there at people like that for no fucking reason. Yeah. Because what it did was it fucked with his psyche because he was like, I'm not gay. Well, I just got fucked over by the Internet. It ruined him. And everybody was like, yeah, you are. Before we got conscious over like just making up shit about people can what it do to them and hurt them. This guy had nothing to do with it. He got catfished. They say he was naive and stupid and blah. People said all sorts of mean shit. Dude, he's just an innocent guy that got fucked over and fell in love on the internet. How not weird is that? Every loser I'm friends with now falls in love with people on the internet constantly. What? Can I ask a question? Yeah. Yeah. Um, 
I mean, he's developed this relationship with, with a woman. Well, he thought it was a woman. I know that he's been dating for how long? A year? Well, here's the problem. Here's another big hole I, in the I'm, story. I'm, asking a qu- I'm just asking a oh, question. Let me, fin- let me answer. All right. The hole in the story is like they would take weeks off and not speak. Right. And then sometimes they would speak a bunch and then not again. You got to remember, there's a college kid who plays football. But there was a lot of incidents like um, she's like, let's FaceTime. He'd be like, let's FaceTime. And it wouldn't work. And, and her, on her end, it wouldn't work. After the eighth time, you don't go, there's something weird. No, but here's why we say that. You're privy to cat. This is pre-catfish. Catfishing yeah. wasn't happening like it is now. When it happens now and people don't get it, I'm like, what's wrong with you? Right. But yeah. then. I'm giving the benefit of the, I started following him on Instagram and I say he's your inspiration I'm just me. saying then it didn't exist. So <laughs> nobody fucking knew that that was a thing that you could. He f- hasn't followed me back yet, but That's he will. That's because Bobby's profile picture is Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> But let me ask you this, though, right? How long would it would I be able to cat? If, let's say you were single. Yeah, but in the current day and age, I would be weary of all this stuff. This guy had no fucking. But how long would you last? You think right now? Let's say I lived in Baltimore and I'm the hottest chick you've ever seen, uh-huh. and we're we're talking okay. online, right? How long would you wait? What's your name? Lililia. <laughs> Same name. How old are you? Gloria. My name is Gloria. Gloria, how old are you? I'm 28. Nice. What do you do? Uh, I work at an insurance firm. Oh, you're in, are you in insurance sales? No, I'm a secretary right now for Montgomery. Oh, okay. Insurance. Oh. Yeah. Um, how did you find out about me? I'm a huge fan. I I saw your special. Mm, thanks. And um, I, I'm a huge fan of Dave. Oh, me yeah, too. Yeah, I Who love isn't? it. Very cool. I like Gata more. S- me too. <laughs> yeah, Gata's good. Same. Yeah, yeah. Dave's good too. But you're like my fifth favorite. Would that be third? Who's two? There's third. two more? I don't know their names. Oh, yeah. sick. But when they come on, I'm like, oh, that's cool. Cool. Yeah. All right. Have a good day. <laughs> that, 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 oh, that's it? Well, that would be All it. right. Let's, uh, uh, <laughs> you're my favorite guy on Dave. In fact, you know what? I saw Me Time, and I literally only watched it because you – I mean, that movie was horrendous. But when you come on, you just spark. <laughs> it just you. sparks. Thank and you. it's like, wow, what a scene stealer. Sick. Yeah. And also, I'm just, you know, I was adopted. Whoop. <laughs> right, I right. I just sent you a picture. Of what? I don't know. You tell me. Oh, is that a, your friend? Oh, your penis. Your penis. Your penis. Oop, 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 penis. Penis. Oop. Penis. Penis. Oh, we gotta put a butthole picture in there. Yeah, one. butthole. Yeah. Actually, I sent you pen- pictures of me jerking off. So one. Week- <laughs> you gotta play really fast. Back and forth. <laughs> so there's no way that would happen. Like no. you, you wouldn't develop no. a relationship with somebody no. from Baltimore. No, I would want to meet you. In person, if I'm single and I'm looking to fucking meet you, I would I would want to meet you. I don't. I just. But this is now, and now is different than then. Then it wasn't a thing. No one knew. That was. I a, think I'm getting catfished. Then. Are you serious? Well, there's. I don't know if I should talk about this. But I, I don't want to get in trouble. Is she from Baltimore? No, there's a yeah, that's yeah, right. yeah. Her name was Gloria. No. Um, <laughs> well, there's a couple of instances, and I haven't done anything. You know, I'm single now, or I haven't done anything, right? But there's a couple of instances where. A couple of girls like if you're in Vegas, give me a call and I have their number. Is that mm-hmm. catfishing? No, oh, okay. because if you're in Vegas, give them a call. Just be careful if you want to go meet them. Because why? What would happen? I don't know. They could rob you or something. Yeah, I, th- I think it happened to a friend of mine. Vegas, though. Yeah, you don't want to just go meet strangers from. No, the- I would definitely do like a crowded place and bring a bodyguard or something. N- yeah, I would do a crowded place. Like let's meet at the Bellagio. That's a good movie, though. Bobby goes to meet some ladies in Vegas and gets kidnapped, and we got to go save him. I know, but would we save that's, him? That's it. Yeah, I would. You no, would be that's reluctant, a, that's but I would th- need you to Because we're playing ourselves, right? So I you're know, pl- but I would have so much to do and cancel just to get out there. <laughs> and, <save you. laughs> and you know what that is? Yeah. Plot, baby. <laughs> that's that, right. Yeah. I've got stuff going. I'm in the middle of shooting the third season of Dave. You get canceled out there. I can't, captured. You get wait, captured. Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait, th- th- that would mean... Th- if I'm, if I disappeared, mm-hmm. and you're shooting Dave, you yes. wouldn't take a week off oh, and go. Bro, my schedule's nuts on. That you show. wouldn't take a week off. I don't think I could. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I would pay someone to go find you. I guess I'm alone then with whoever. Who would you pay? Imagine you have door stop. You have the store. <sighs> you got to work at the store. You can't give up those. Carlos I think I could give you. up some I'll ships go. to save Bobby. You know, Lee. I honestly believe that Carlos would. <laughs> yeah, Carlos I would definitely. Do. I honestly believe you wouldn't. You wouldn't give a shit. You're being annoying, and you know I would. If I would, I would go way out of my way. You would. <laughs> you would cancel. Would you lose your job at Dave? No. <laughs> <laughs> Re- you wouldn't. Be honest. Lose my job? If it had meant to, like let's let's suppose I'm captured by some guys the in Vegas. 
Yeah, the Yakuza. The Bamboo Boys. The Bamboo it. Boys. They got you. Right. Yeah. And they're like, you know, uh, Andrew, quit Dave or Bobby's dead. Oh. <laughs> that's We're going to do it. That's tough. We got to see it in the Hollywood Reporter that you quit because, and you're trying Why to save it. Why do you guys it. want me to quit the show just to kill him? I don't know. We get off on it. Oh, boy, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. I... I the gun's loaded, and I'm like, Andrew, Andrew, I think they're fucking serious, man. I don't want to die. I think they are, too. <laughs> oh, my God. Bob, I... No, no, no. He hold just on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, okay. Andrew Let me talk to the leader. Bat. Let me talk to the leader. Hey, dude, what going on? What? What's Hello. up? How are you? Pretty good, pretty good. What's your answer? No, no, no. I'm Bamboo Boy. Bamboo Boy, listen. Yeah. You don't want to kill my friend. I have somebody else you can kill. Who? His name is Fancy B. Oh, I hate him. I know you do. If I bring him to you, will you let my friend Bobby go? Yeah, but well you got to bring him now. I'll be there right now. All right. I'm getting a private jet. Fancy. Yeah. Here he is. The switch. And then they kill him, they kill me, and they kill you. And I get away with the money. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. This movie yeah, sucks. This movie sucks. <laughs> okay. Um, Juicy, you go ahead and sign us off. Thank you for being a bad friend. Yeah, baby.